Mark's a dog. And the pass will be caught by Mark Andrews, the leading receiver. He, he gets open, um, he runs his route. Jackson taking a deep shot down the middle of the field. Andrews is there. He all the around tight end. Imagine having one of the best offenses in the NFL and a quarterback that led the NFL in touchdown passes <laughs> with a tight end core. That's right, folks, a tight end core, not a receiving core. Last year, the Ravens had a three-headed monster at the tight end position, and the man that led this trinity was the Oklahoma alumnus Mark Andrews. Hayden Hurst, the new Atlanta Falcon, was intended to be the number one tight end on the Baltimore Ravens offense, being picked before Lamar Jackson. But in football, it does not matter if you're picked in the first round or the last round. It's all about showing up in game day. You see, Mike Mayock had Mark Andrews as the fourth best tight end in the 2018 draft. And Mark Andrews indeed ended up being the fourth tight end in that draft and was the second tight end that the Ravens drafted in 2018. During the start of the 2018 season, Harbaugh had Andrews as the fourth tight end on the depth chart. It seemed like the number four just kept finding Mark Andrews, but Mark knew that four minus three equals one. And number one was what he was aiming for, and he ended up being the number one tight end on the Ravens offense. I'm Marky Mark, and y'all are the funky bunch. In 2018, Mark Andrews was responsible for two of the longest plays the Ravens had on offense all year. And he had half of a thousand yards, three touchdowns, he caught 68% of his passes, and he was averaging 16 yards a catch. A excellent rookie year for a tight end that was fourth on a depth chart. Great underdog story. In 2019, Mark Andrews had his breakout year, being Lamar Jackson's primary target in clutch time, converting on third downs and making intense catches in superior moments. Mark Andrews, like Tyler Boyd, do a lot of damage in the slot. Last year, he had 731 yards, 29 first downs and five touchdowns from 221 routes in the slot. He was second among tight ends in deep receiving yards behind Travis Kelsey. Mark Andrews' total stats last year were 852 receiving yards, 10 touchdowns, which led all tight ends, and tied a Raven record. He had 64 receptions in a Pro Bowl berth. Now, some people look at Mark Andrews' receiving total and they're like, he does not have a thousand receiving yards. But what you have to remember is that the Ravens were 32nd last year in pass attempts and number one in rush attempts. So that means Mark Andrews is making the most out of his opportunities in the passing game. I believe the Ravens should draft another receiver to help out Mark Andrews and Lamar Jackson in the passing game because I know next year more teams are going to be ready. They know that Lamar Jackson's favorite target in the passing game is Mark Andrews. So Harbaugh is going to have to draft smart on the offensive side of the ball this year. With the coronavirus continuing to get more potent, athletes are finding different ways to work out. And Mark Andrews is used to working around adversity. For those who do not know, he has type one diabetes and wears an insulin pump when he is not playing football. But that is not going to stop Mark from being the best version of himself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too boring. Um, these episodes will continue to get better and more uh, lengthier, more thorough. But, you know, I'm running out of words to say. Shaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa